So welcome, Bonnie and Mike. Thank you. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, we can, and we and the video is up. Okay. So this is um, this is at one of the dog trials that uh, I own, California, and this is uh, just showing a dog that is working. Uh, there's a handler behind, uh, probably behind the handler's line, that uh, this dog. Uh, well, here comes the handler come up to help him, but uh, this dog is. Uh, putting these cattle into an obstacle. What he has to do here is load these three steers into this little trap. His dog has to hold them while he goes and opens the gate. Uh, if the cattle blow out the back of the trap, he has to close the gate and uh, reload. So I'm not sure here. It looks like we stopped here a little bit. Keep going, Mike. It might just be your internet speed with the video. It's oh, okay. Still playing. Okay. So, um, yeah, so that's what he's doing. I'm not sure where we're at here in the video, but uh, uh, I've got him shown here. He's... Uh, He's walking up to open the gate. How about Bonnie? Is Bonnie out there? I am. Can you hear me too? Yep. Okay, so now my, my camera's finally going. So uh, this is another obstacle. So this is like a T, and, and he has to load them from um, from uh, this side that he's coming back into. He's got to load all three, and then they have to point coming out the middle uh, where these cattle want to run through. Uh, so now he's going to probably reload them again. And then get, he has to have one point out the middle to uh, move on to his next uh, obstacle. So he's gonna, he, he's not satisfied with one pointy. He's gonna reload them. This one cow doesn't wanna cooperate too much. He's gonna have his dog bring it around. Now this cow came in the wrong entrance. So uh, it mixes with them. So now his pen's dirty. So he's gonna reload again. He has to clear him out the entrance, reload again. Mike, do you know how old this dog is that's being worked? Uh, I'm not sure how old this dog is. Uh, this is Chris Bennett. Chris shows a couple of dogs, um, and I'm not sure. So they have a few different classes. There's a, a nursery class, which a dog has to be three and under. And I'm not sure if this is the nursery class or the open class. So this would be, uh, this would be me. And the dog I'm showing is, uh, he's about two and a half. So in the, at this trial, you can, you can either do it on foot or horseback uh, for the handler. Do your dogs work differently depending on whether you're on foot or horseback? Uh, they work about the same. Uh, the two dogs I show and that you'll see in the video here, they're both, uh, they're full brothers. They're both two and um, they've been around a little bit. So this is new. This is the one I was showing up there. Uh, we're clearing the field. We got some ewes in this field. And we're going to clear the field, bring them up into the corral so we can bring some heifers in. Um, Newt is uh, more of a cattle dog, but you can work the sheep with them. Uh, the difference between your sheep dogs and your cattle dogs will be uh, your sheep dogs will be uh, usually a little softer dog, a little further away from their stock. Um, sheep are a little more flightier than cattle. Uh, so this dog, sorry, 
for commands, are you using like voice commands or are you whistle commands? What what are you using? Uh, this dog is, uh, I'm using a whistle because he's out a little ways. Uh, he'll work off voice commands or a whistle. Uh, both dogs will, but uh, we start him on a voice command and then move to a whistle. Do you start your dogs right onto cattle or sheep or whatever they'll be using, or do you use other livestock first? Uh, I'll use um, either lambs, kid goats, uh, Jersey calves, dairy calves, um, depending on how strong the dog is. So, so you can see Nude, he's, he's bringing these in. There's about 30 some ewes here. He's bringing them in. Um, he's doing a good job making sure nothing turns back. I'm just gonna help him a little bit here. He's watching both sides. He's gonna watch this right side for me. And he'll push him right up into the, into the pen. So we've, we've used uh, dogs here for about six years. We've we've done the cattle for about 30 years here. You can shoot it. Come in with me. So we found the dogs to be uh, very helpful. Um, uh, not near as much labor moving things. So here I'm bringing in, uh, same, there's about 30, 30 something heifers here. Um, uh, I'm in the back with the dogs. We're running them from the front field up. We're going to bring them up the corral and sort some off. There's some uh, different tag heifers we're going to sort off and give them another second vaccination uh, so we can turn the bull out with them. So uh, here you'll pick up, you'll see there's two dogs. Uh, that's that's a uh, rip down there in the bottom. Uh, and Newt's, Newt's kind of hanging in the back, picking up the back inside. So, and, and I'm in the back here behind them and I can send them, uh, Rip's kind of working the, uh, the buy side. When starting new dogs, do you run them with an older dog or? Uh, I don't, um, not too much. Uh, we start them in a pen. There's a little bit of video I think you'll see at the end of, uh... let's see, you can still hear me? Yes. Okay. There's, uh, there's a little bit of video at the end of uh, me starting a young dog in a pen. Another question, do you do you use a down on your dogs or do you let them just continue to kind of do what they're going to do and work? Oh no, they they uh they have a down on them uh So they're very, um, they're, they're very broken that, uh, uh, they're actually, I'm giving them um, uh, commands, sending them either side, directing them. How often are you, yeah, I guess giving commands to your, and I'm sure it depends on the situation and what you're trying to do with the livestock, but, um, I guess kind of curious of with your dogs, how much do you let them kind of make decisions off of instinct versus how much are you working them with commands? Uh, you know, uh, my dogs, I like to work them with commands because so, so we go out there, so they have a plan, I have a plan. Well, they need to do my plan. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not, uh, uh, and, and especially trialing dogs. So a lot of people's dogs, you know, they say, well, they learn the ranch and they learn what to do. Whereas, um, uh, you know, we might want to bring them in a different way or, or do different things. So 
so my dogs, I'm always giving them certain commands um, on on uh, where they should be, uh, where I want them to be. Um, so so we're usually guiding them pretty good. And for breed, are these straight border collies? Or are they mixed? Yeah, these are straight border collies. Like I say, I've been doing the dogs for about six years, and and uh, I have just done the border collies. I I haven't done any other breeds. Uh, I think um, these two dogs are the about the um, fourth and fifth dog I've I've started and trained. So I I haven't been doing it too long. Uh, Bonnie's been uh, I think into the dogs a lot longer, isn't that right, Bonnie? Yes, yeah, I've been uh, train, or training and trialing for about 20 years. But I don't breed my dogs. I usually um, try to find a good dog that I, that, you know, it's all by genetics. Yeah, so these are out of the, uh, uh, this is out of the first litter of pups I raised. Um, so they're just pushing these um, cattle up uh, into the corral. It's uh, it's kind of uh, a foreign thing to teach these dogs to drive. So most of these dogs want to stop cattle. They want to get around and stop cattle. So right here, what you'll see is is uh, I'm going to use Rip. I put uh, I got Newt sitting in the back of the cart, and I got Rip. He's working the top of the pin, and I'm I'm having him drive these cattle back to me where I can either put these cattle in the pen or sort them by. So uh, he'll he'll work this pen for a while, keep working these cattle down to me. And, Mike, uh, for folks that aren't familiar with stock dogs and commands, can you talk a little bit about like what is a down or when you say by, what is that, what does that mean? Okay, so so the way they taught me is if you look at a clock and, and time's going, uh, Time's going away uh, or to your right, it's it's going the same way as the clock. So that's away. If time's going by, it's 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 going the other way. So so that's where we use away and by. Uh, you can you can pretty much uh, when we break them to a whistle, we give the command, and then uh, we give them a, a, a whistle command. So we give them a voice command. And then back it up with a whistle command, and you can make uh, pretty much any whistle command you want to make, and be consistent with it, and they'll put the two and two together. So um, kind of like they they talked about the um, livestock guardian dogs. You know these dogs. What we do is just basically take what's bred in them, and and we we uh, use it to their ability, and then to help us. So we. We teach them off of their breeding. So they have to have some herding and cow in them uh, to do this. Uh, uh, it's not mechanical. Uh, the nice thing about dogs, the interesting thing about dogs is they read cattle so much better than uh, we do as humans. So, you know, by the time if I go gather a field of cows, 100 cows, and I take two guys out there with me, by the time I tell them to get over there on a the horse, uh, these dogs already got those cattle turned, so they're so much faster at doing this, and um, uh, they're uh, uh, they keep you from getting in uh, wrecks a lot quicker. They seem like they keep your cattle good. So, so this dog, you can see him. I keep sending him back. Uh, so this would be going to the buy side. I keep sending him back to the top, and uh, he's he's working these cattle around. So he's keep pushing these cattle to me. Uh, they've got a little, uh, some of them got a red tag in their uh, right ear. So those are the ones I'm sorting down by. But um, uh, we don't uh, uh, do a whole lot of this, the sorting this way. But if you're just one person uh, and nobody else is around, uh, these dogs are, are very helpful for that. So the down is just, uh, uh, we can teach the dogs a couple commands. Uh, down means down. It, it's the same as, as pretty much any dog. It means lie down. Uh, uh, we teach them another command sometimes, which is stand. 
And so they don't have to down. Uh, uh, like this dog will stand if you tell him to stand. Uh, uh, Newt tends to, when you say stand or down, he'll down. But he's a bigger dog and he, he tends to uh, use that more. So he, he gets tired a little easier. So when you say down or stand, he, he's like, oh, okay, dad, I'm going down. So Then we've got uh, like we, we can... Um, Use a command if, if I'm using a voice and I want them to push the cattle, I'll say push. Um, uh, we'll use watch them. Uh, we'll use, um, we'll put a whistle to it. Uh, but pretty much it's, it's just the uh, stand, stop command, uh, down is one, and then the away and the by. And uh, by doing that, we can pretty much. Uh, uh, control the cattle. I have a question here about, do you have a problem with dogs and calf ears? Um, and how would you break them of that? Um, so I think that must end with biting. Oh, biting the calf ears? I think that's what they're asking, yes. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, bite or uh, a bite on a dog's very good. It's like anything, you just got to uh, teach your dog to control it. So so when we break them uh, young, you know, we don't want to take the bite out of them because as you can see, like Rip there, he's got to get into these cat a little bit to get them moving. But they they got to use it when we want them to use it. So um, it's, it's just teaching them to control it. Uh, So latching on my ears, um, things like that, you know, we don't want them to latch on to these cattle. I mean, uh, you know, uh, what we want to do is have them teach these cattle to uh, give to pressure and to, uh, to go away from pressure. So, so here is... I uh, think... Go ahead, go Bonnie. Ahead. Go ahead. Um... I, I, the one thing I would want to point out is um, is the importance of choosing a dog that has a working background, working parents. Uh, you, you can't, uh, a lot of people ask me, well, can you teach my dog to do that? It, it's really, really important that you, um, that you bring in a dog that has the genetics, the breeding that will work. Not every, not every border collie is going to understand or have the instinct to um, to circle or go around or gather and bring to, bring to the person, bring to the handler. Not every border collie understands what you want to work the to move the cows or the sheep or whatever livestock you've got and and it's uh, really important to choose the right you know the right uh breeding when you do this that that's how you can end up with a dog that maybe hangs on instead of you want that dog to move those livestock not beat them up so I, that's the only point I would want to make. Yeah, and they they just need to learn to use their um, use those things under control. So, so this is a young, um, this is a little eleven month old dog pup, and and um, uh, like this dog has a lot of bite, but she's got to learn to get out and around. These are three little bummer lambs that um, that uh, I used to. Uh, uh, train these dogs on. This is about a 40 by 40 square pen. And, and we want this dog to learn to go up along the fence and go out around these sheep and, and kind of turn these sheep's uh, head and shoulder to me. Uh, and, and I want her to slow down a little bit. Uh, I use the flag a little bit um, to, to back her off a little bit. Then like here, I'll just stand in the corner. I want her to be able to hold those sheep, uh, not just keep coming in, uh, want to kill the sheep, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so, so she's coming along. She's a, she's a nice young pup. Uh, this is a pup I bought. And um, uh, she's 
probably where she should be at for her age. Um, but if I just turned her loose out with the older dogs, um, she would probably cause all kinds of ruckus because they don't know how to get out and around. Um, they tend to want to dive in. Uh, so, so we teach them, we work them in a pen for a while, get them to where she'll down, uh, get them where they'll quit and uh, come to us at the end, come off the stock. Uh, we'll usually tell them that'll do and then uh, have them come to us. Oh, and here's some pups. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Thank you, Bonnie. Really appreciate you sharing the videos and, and yeah, your experience.